This is Twit. A major single sign-on provider, one login. It was last Wednesday evening around 9 p.m. Pacific time. They detected an odd usage pattern uh, in a database instance. They, they use Amazon's AWS cloud services for their infrastructure. And they saw that something suspicious was going on and shut down that instance. Subsequently, looking at it, they realized their worst nightmare had, had occurred. And that is that for about seven hours, somebody had been rummaging around in their database. So starting around 2 p.m., that at last Wednesday afternoon through 9 p.m. when they saw it and shut it down, somebody had apparently obtained their AWS keys, which meant they had decrypted access to their infrastructure. So just to remind people what 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 a, what a service like One Login does is they're sort of a commercialized version of sign in with Google. That is, they they are an OAuth provider. So the idea would be that rather than log then sign in with Google or log in with Google, it would be sign in with one login. So their customers are are corporations that want to offer or uh, you know corporations who want to offer to their employees or to their customers the convenience of single sign-on uh, uh, operation. So when, when you go to the company's site, rather than sign in with Google, you see sign in with one login. So essentially they're an aggregator of the login technology, the login verification for all of their customers. And they're logging their customers' customers. That is, their visitors. These, you know, depending on what their model is, you know, they're logging them in to those companies. So there's it. I mean, they have a huge responsibility, and a a breach of their security is a is a disaster for not only for their direct customers but for all the people who log in to their customers' sites. So this is not good. Now, they got a lot of coverage in the press because this was a high-profile breach, and the coverage was not all good. Aside from the embarrassment, which is completely understandable, and as one of the recurring themes on the podcast is security is hard, and everyone can be forgiven I think, for making a mistake. How people respond is what's important. So, you know, we've defended LastPass that has been a, a, a recent victim of Tavis Ormandy's showers uh, because if even if problems are found, in no instance were, were any customers damaged that we know of, and LastPass responds off typically within hours. So... The problem here is, oh, and, and and responsible disclosure means you just tell people what happened. So one login didn't do that. They were very circuitous, circuitous in their disclosure. They didn't publicly provide much detail. Their response has been called opaque and deliberately lacking in detail. However, they provided their customers to whom they feel, I guess, more obligation, email with much more information. Of course, that email didn't stay in the possession of the customers. Right. Quickly, that got out to the press that realized the extent of, of what had happened. And in this email that they provided to their own customers, they said the threat actor as they put it, was able to access database tables that contain information about users, apps, and various types of keys. They wrote, while we encrypt certain sensitive data at rest, at this time, 
we cannot rule out the possibility that actor also obtained the ability to decrypt data. We are thus erring on the side of caution and recommending actions our customers should take, which we have already communicated. And then in this private email to their customers, they were told basically start over. That is start from scratch. Essentially nothing that had been done could be trusted, meaning they were told to generate new API keys and OAuth tokens, create new security certificates as well as credentials, recycle any secrets that were stored in one login's secure notes feature, and have every end user update their passwords and more. So, you know, basically a complete start from scratch um as far as we know i mean as far you know they were saying as far as we know the the bad guys obtained our aws keys and had access to the to the encrypted secrets that that we say they were holding on behalf of all of our customers so sorry about yeah. that start over 